awakened from this illusion. And you understand. Yo, what's going on, guys? How you doing? How is everybody doing here today? Hello. All right. Fucking elephant in the room. Fucking let's talk about it. <sighs> Yesterday with uh, SSJ and Mexican Andy. What the fuck? <laughs> um, motherfucking SSJ came off really, really bad. He fucked up. Um his intention was it was supposed to be like a joke, but he came off so fucking poorly. He just, he came off, he's just bad, like an asshole. You know what I mean? Uh, and I told him that he needs to apologize today. He's gone for the next week though. So I'm going to call him on the phone and he's going to, uh, apologize or talk about his, you know, just his whole thought process here. CX in the chat. Hey. Okay, so just I'm live. Tell everybody what what the fuck. Tell, wait, 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 what? You just say that again. Tell my stream your whole thought process. Andy? Yeah. I never meant to hurt that guy's feelings. Uh, that would be the first thing. Like, at all. And uh, it's probably stupid of me to think that I wouldn't hurt his feelings. Like, does that make sense? Because, you know, he's gotten his feelings hurt before. But, I don't know. I thought that I was doing something funny, and it came off very poor, and I fucked up. And I'm sorry to Mexican Andy. I, I think that's a good way to put it. Is that a good way to put it? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'm not, I, I, I don't want to hurt Mexican Indy's feelings. That's not, obviously not my intention. So, uh, I don't know. The house is, uh, dude, the house is difficult. It's very, very difficult to live in the house. So, uh, and it's, everything is 24 hours a day and we're always on camera and I'm going to keep, you know, we're going to make mistakes and, if I do, and I have to publicly apologize for them, I will. And Ice kind of chewed me out last night for like two hours, and it was well deserved. Like, I mean, you you know that you know that everything that you do totally comes back on me, right? Yeah, and that's what the conversation last night was about, right? Like, okay, that's uh, that's all that's all you needed to know, really, and that's all that that that's that's basically it, dude. But yeah, I obviously had no intention actually hurting his feelings. I think most of the jokes we do in the house, there are always some feelings that Little get hurt sometimes. Like Why would the no, dumb prick do that something like that when the red is already I guess that one was over the top. And I'm sorry, Mexican and Andy. And I'm actually also very sorry to Ice that I put any heat on him. So, and uh, sorry to you guys, I guess, too, anyone who's watching. All right. Thanks, dude. All right, bye. CX in the chat. Okay. Um, why would Dumb Prick do something like that when the Reddit already hates him? Uh, I mean, he still wants to be a part of everything in the house. That's why. He still wants to do stuff that, you know, he tries to think is funny. I don't know. Listen, obviously, it came off really poorly. And his intentions, uh, you know, whether good or bad, it doesn't matter. Same outcome. Um, the thing I'm fucking annoyed about is that I don't want his actions to reflect on what people think about me because this in front of stream and explain why you like because that's not like like it just sucks dude like i was fucking like i wasn't even involved in that dude Fire him. I mean, you seen okay this is from like a year ago or something or like a few like six months ago during this encounter um he wasn't with me for many many months because he was out trying to get investors so i actually wasn't working with him at that point he was trying to get investors obviously uh for us but i wasn't actively talking with him you know, that little kid shaved his head cx pablo pie is having a final this okay fake sorry again to fix things it's done nice and your career is over you legit have thank you very much dude i appreciate that um you legit have become a bully okay i mean i don't really think so um 
Mexican Andy is a good dude, and I've done a lot for motherfucking Mexican Andy. I do a lot for a lot of people, and I don't really think I'm a bully. Like, I didn't fucking make the, I didn't do the joke. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't do anything bad towards people, man. Um, I'm definitely not a fucking bully. That's a stupid thing. I, I literally gave him that fucking room, which is one of the best rooms in the house as well. Um, I don't know. And yeah, I think SSJ apologizing on the phone is a good first step, 110%. So, um, I don't know. You want to do this? Sure. I know, Mexican Andy's very appreciative, but I'm not a bully. I don't bully people. No apology. You both messed up. You're done. I, uh, what, I, what it is is... Um, what was I going to say? Fucking, I tell Blade that he shits his and pees the fucking couch on stream, scolding him. That's a lot worse than anything else I've done. And Blade doesn't, you know, Blade just fucking, like, no one calls me a bully for that. Well, I mean, then again, he actually does pee himself. That is annoying, but he it's just like. Manager. You hired him. How can you expect his actions to not come back on you? Do you know how ridiculous you sound right now? Greek is right. Your ego is out. Thank you very much. Uh. Everyone get ready for interview number 325 for Adrian's book that's never coming out. Wow, wow. I mean, here's, I mean, listen, bro. I don't fucking know, but it's coming. I mean, he's not my manager anymore. He is a business partner. Um, there's, but he doesn't have control of anything. You know what I mean? I just wish that he, what he did didn't fucking reflect on me. It really just sucks and I hate it, dude. Like, I, I wake up, and he does something, and it's just fucking shitstorm at me. And I'm, it's just like, it sucks, dude. It just sucks. Um, and I was going to say something, but I just don't remember what it was going to be. Um, he is uh, somebody that I did hire, but, you know, it, it's he's still done a lot for me, it, even though he does dumb fucking shit. And I tell him he does dumb fucking shit. But, uh, you know, I even told him yesterday. I'm like, dude, please don't ever go and don't fucking go on streams, dude. Don't fucking talk to people on streams. It just, like, I just, it's so fucking bad, homie. So. You standing there and doing nothing but laugh or smirk when Mexican and gets bullied is sick, honey. Um, I wasn't on the stream, dude. I was in my room talking to my girlfriend for three hours, but thank you. Look at this. You have some of these symptoms. Let's see, what is this? Let's see, cocaine. Alrighty. Definitely not on cocaine. It says uh, symptoms of cocaine, but I've never done cocaine. But thank you, dude. I appreciate it very much. Call Mexican Andy on stream and tell him to come over. You know, I talked to Mexican Andy already off stream. Uh, and had a real conversation with him. And if he wants to talk about it on his stream, he can do that. But we're not going to have this conversation again on stream. Um, Mexican Andy can call me if he wants to talk about it on stream. But I don't want to be the one to call him and ask him about it on stream. Because that's honestly none of my fucking business. Ice, please check social blade. Your subs are down by 81%. Mm. You only gained 3k subs in the past month. All your streams gets 1k dislikes in the first couple of minutes. We all know what you need to do, man. Yeah, I mean, you I haven't. Take Mexican I think I've streamed. Or a, something just you. I think I've only streamed a couple of days in the past month. So, um, and you know, 1k dislikes. Yeah, that sucks. Let me see. What was? What did that say? You should take Mexican on a trip or something. Just you and him to make up for this. It's in all honesty, he's owed something positive. I mean, he. Got a fucking master bedroom in the house, dude. That's pretty good. Um, and he's still welcome to that master bedroom. I didn't kick him out. There's just a huge misunderstanding, and he just fucking went home. Why did SSG say that I disagreed when he kicked pizza face out? You're the face of the ORG. No matter what, you will feel the fallout of anyone's actions. Just don't co-sign and voice your disagreement. Well, I'm voicing that SSJ comes off very poorly, and what he says on stream shouldn't be taking shouldn't be taken as serious as people take the stuff that he says. You know, people seem to think that he has like this control and this power. He doesn't have the control and power that people think he does. Um, 
and what he says shouldn't be taken so seriously. Like Mexicanity should have just been like, uh, like, okay, dude. And then he came and talked with me. Like, you know what I mean? He should have spoke to me about it instead of just like getting upset. Like, it's okay to be upset, but like talk to me about it. And I could tell, I could have told him that, like, don't worry about what fucking SSJ said. Like, whatever, dude. Are you actually this dumb? SSJ represents you. Why wouldn't you get hate for his actions? Also, you stand by and let SSJ do whatever he wants. That's not SSJ true. Actions I scold the fuck out of SSJ when he does something wrong. Because it does come back on me, and that fucking pisses me off because it makes it really, it just makes my job really, really fucking hard. Like, harder than it needs to be. Um, so I do scold him, and I do voice my fucking disagreement with SSJ. Um, and I told him, just don't fucking go on streams and talk to people. Like, you come off so bad. So what is it you want? People to sit and agree with you. We want to see you do well. But don't sit there and say you haven't become a bully. Hmm. You sit and laugh when stuff happens to Andy gets legit sad. What happened to the VOD channel? Let me tell you I something. usually watch it after I get off work. I laugh at anybody when anything happens. Because nobody should take it that fucking serious. If something happens on stream, just laugh it off. It's really not that serious. Um... You know what I mean? Like, I told Blade he shits himself. I told Cassandra she's fucking a moron half the time. Uh, tracksuit Andy, I tell him he's fucking cringe. Like, you know what I mean? Just take, like, and then people call me a Jew, big nose, whatever the fuck, a million things. Like, just don't take it that seriously. Like, just laugh it off. Um, and if somebody's actually hurt by something, express why you're hurt. Express your fucking, your, your opinion about it. Hey, can you watch the Ice Beside and Ice Ice Bay song parody video? It's less than two minutes. Here's a link. I hate how the viewers take everything so goddamn serious. If I say something to somebody, or if anyone in this house says something to someone else, they're not a fucking bully. It's called fucking around. If you had nothing to do with it, then why did SSG say that he spoke to you prior to kicking Andy out? Why is it as if you're working for SSJ and not the other way around? Well, it goes back to what I said. Don't take what SSJ says that seriously. Take it all with a grain of fucking salt and then, uh, you know, talk to me about it first. Or second, I guess. It's all Adrian's fault. <laughs> no. Blame it all on you. It's because of the New Yorker article, bro. That's, where all, that's, where, that's, when, it, that's when this all started. The joke was my idea, actually. My business partner's actions shouldn't affect me, BTW. 62 it confirmed. Low glad my donation. I mean, sure, it does obviously reflect on me. I just don't want it to. Um, it's like it sucks, dude. It really like it sucks. Like I I don't disagree with half the shit that SSJ does, but at the same time, he really put me in a good financial position with this fucking house with no bills, and that's something that I needed because I was feeling the heat in my own real life, not even with stream related shit for other stuff or the other related stuff. So it's not an easy position that I'm in. Let me see why well, you got the donation trade you're looking for, for this situation, reality TV all over again. I mean, you to be known by the company you keep stick that in your pipe and smoke it. I mean, to be honest, uh, donation train doesn't really, like, I'd rather just not feel like shit to be <laughs> honest. This was not a joke. He moved all his shit out of his room. That takes effort. This was fucked ice. SSJ should stay off the streams, and that's his responsibility, not any streamers. SSJ is the problem. And that's what I told him yesterday. And that's when he decided he's going to go take business meetings over in uh, Vegas for a little bit, so. Laugh it off. Ha ha ha, laugh off the Reddit then, pussy. It's just fucking around. Uh, I mean, sure, you're right, and I do laugh a lot of stuff off on Reddit unless they go over the top with some of the stuff that's said. I think the scuffed house is dope. Pretty entertaining. If people are in the house, I think they should be able to take a joke or getting their stuff moved. Mexican Andy kind of cried. It's okay, S20. Yeah, I mean, it sucks. Like I said, I'm sorry for Mexican Andy. Like, I feel bad for him. That sucks. But, uh... You know, at the end of the day, I really wish he would have just came and spoke with me first uh, before leaving the house and, like, getting really mad. Like, it's okay to be mad, but I just really wish he would have spoke with me instead of just leaving and, you know, doing the whole t deactivating his Twitter thing. 
Because I could have just, soft and transparent I could have just helped make better. them feel better at that you moment. Your name on Andy's stream. Just something about it. And why did you stand and giggle while SSG threw chicken in the trash rather than Andy? Um, because I really didn't think it was that serious, and it really wasn't, dude. To be honest. Why are you hiding Grim from us? What did you tell her? Why are you telling her not to stream? Um, she's just in my bathtub right now. It's fine. She's taking a bath. What about Cassandra? And how SSJ's drama has caused all the toxic hate towards her? Where's her apology? Put Mexican in SSJ's room since he's not in control. Then Cassandra in the big room. Um, I don't want Cassandra in the big room. Mexican is going to get that room. Uh, SSJ is probably going to move into the basement once he comes back after a week or something. Um, or a couple of days, whatever, however long he's fucking gone for. And then Cassandra will probably go in his room because... Like, I don't want him to be all over fucking people's streams because it's, it's adding way too much stress onto me when he does something that's fucking retarded. Laugh it off. Yeah, you go around wanting to purge the Reddit for hate. Lol. Red I mean, thank you very much, dude. Uh, yeah, I don't like the hate on Reddit, and that's a completely acceptable opinion for me to say. So is it fine if he does this kind of stuff off stream? He says he owns or co-owns the house, and he decides who can stay. He says it in front of you and you don't say. He was always enraged, no jokes. Me and him are obviously business partners. Um, so I'm not going to sit there and argue with him on a fucking live stream about control and equity and this and that and coming off. Like, I'd rather just talk to him off stream about this kind of shit because it's not a professional thing to argue with your business partner on stream about something as stupid as saying my house, you know, or telling people what to do. That's something you do off stream. Um, and that's how it should be. You know what I mean? But I'm telling you right now, SSJ just comes off very bad to the stream. No matter, doesn't matter what his intentions are. It's always the same outcome. And that's the problem that he has. He just doesn't know how to talk to people. Uh, and it comes off really fucking bad. SSJ is a bully and you need to be dealt with ice. I dealt with it last night. I talked to him. We, we had a long conversation about that. Last time you told us not to believe what someone is saying was Horseshoe Bay. Remember that when you threw your own girlfriend under the bus to avoid hate. Now you're doing it with your manager. Um, that's a little bit different, dude. Um, I hid Caroline, which is my discretion. Um, SSJ doing dumb shit that I don't agree with is not necessarily my discretion. I'm just working with him. Why didn't he explain to him it was a joke before he went home? I don't understand. That's how jokes work. Your thoughts? I'm not SSJ, so I don't really know, but I'm just telling you what his intention was and what the outcome actually was uh, by the end of it. Um, I'm not SSJ. I don't know what was going through his fucking head, but uh, I'm just telling you what his intention was. Um, even though that's not what the outcome was, obviously. Project CX Incorporated is my company. My loan. My house. If I say jump, you jump. Thank you, SSJ. Appreciate it, homie. <laughs> okay. How can you take what SSG says with a grain of salt when he threatens to kick you out and call the cops before they can even talk to you? Oops. Um, yeah, but he can't kick. He's not going to kick anyone out of the house because he doesn't have that ability um, you know what I mean? So just take what he says with a grain of salt. Like, obviously, people in the house should show him some sort of respect because he's the one who managed to get the, play the house in the first place. But at the end of the day, this is my community. At the end of the day, the people that are in the CX network are people that are working with me. So at the end of the day, I'm the one with the final say. Bro, why are you so triggered by donations? Just laugh it off, bro, right? Take your own advice for a change, ego, and... I mean, if I just laugh everything off right now, I'm pretty sure people would get pissed. So I'm just taking it completely serious right now so we can just get this out of the way. What do you think of Bone Clink's stream last night? Him saying you to add him to the network he wants to stream on YouTube. Also, I'm telling Burger Planet off. Uh, I mean, hey, if he quits Twitch, that'd be great. CX in the chat. Thank you, XL, dude. Appreciate that. That's a fucking weird name. Thank you, dude. I appreciate the sponsor, homie. I mean, it's really not that funny. Like, I can't just laugh this off. Like, it's really not funny. You know what I mean? I'd rather just take it seriously um, instead of just, like, trolling around. 
Honestly, Paul, I'm sure you would agree that if anyone who touches your personal stuff you would be mad. That's not a joke. You should never place your financial stability to someone else. Only yours left. Um, my financial stability is with myself, but he put me in an opportunity where I can save a lot more money um, with having no bills. Um, now, yeah, I would be mad if somebody went in my room and touched my stuff. Uh, but I wouldn't be mad enough to the point where I would leave the house. I would just talk to the person, express how I feel, and then talk to the person who is in, who's the head of the house, which would be me. Uh, and I, that's all I wish Mexican Andy did was I wish he just came and talked to me. I could have helped make him feel better. And I could have just explained like, don't worry what fucking SSJ says. Like, just worry about what I'm telling you. Would you want someone touching thousands in PC? No, I mean, obviously not. <laughs> I, f I know why Mexican Andy's mad. I feel like I understand his, uh, how he feels. Um, and I'm just mad at SSJ, to be honest with you. Do something nice for Mexican Andy. Do a duo stream, just two of you, and take him out for a nice night out. It would also be a fun stream also. Well, he has to come back here if he wants to do that, in order to do that. I mean, I'm down for that, but he has to come back here in order to do that. I did talk to him. He did say he was going to come back, but he's like two hours away right now, so... The only way to make this right is to allow Mexican Andy to shoot SSJ with a paintball gun to the chest or back. I tell all the streamers to come to you if they ever feel uncomfortable. Just as for MA. Well, I mean, I did. and I thought that was the obvious anyways. But if there's anybody that ever feels uncomfortable in this house, they should 100% come talk to me. Instead of just take shit, you know, out of proportion and, you know put everything on stream it's because then it all comes back to me and everything's on my fucking shoulders and it just sucks because then I go live and now I have to talk about this and I hate how I feel right now I just feel un like just bad and annoyed and it's just not a fun environment for me at the moment CX in the chat thank you speed I appreciate the sponsor dude thank you homie thank you Dylan appreciate that homie 56 minute drive all right well, that's uh, that's all good then, Andy. At least be honest. Is SSJ shit starting to bother you? I mean, I think it's Has obvious. Has like a prick ever since you signed papers? I think it's obvious that I'm, you know, bothered by a lot of stuff that he does. Um, like I said, I just don't talk about stuff with him on stream because he's no longer a manager. He's no longer like a character in my fucking shit. He's a business partner, and if I and I want to have a professional relationship with him, so I talk to him about shit off stream. Um, but I mean, I think it's obvious that I'm very bothered by a lot of shit that he does because it all comes back to me, which is awful. Because ugh, like it just it just sucks, man. I just I hate fucking, and then I, everyone in the fucking house gets shit, and it's just it's awful, man. I just want you know, people to enjoy streaming in this fucking house. And right now, I don't think anyone does because, you know, not because of the house, but because of, you know, how annoyed the viewers are by shit. I think I have a good solution for this. I think it was a simple joke gone way wrong. I think you should order weed. You just need <laughs> okay, Jewel, thank you, dude. Enough of the weed. fans cringe at you lying to our face. We have enough deducted reasoning between the 5K GJBTW of us to tell every single lie you make. Just stop. In the stream now and come back, change. I mean, I think I'm being pretty transparent right now. I don't think I'm lying about anything, actually. Um, I mean, if that's what you think, then sure. But I, I'm being, I'm seriously taking the tempo down of my voice to show you that this is a serious conversation. Uh, Are you contractually <laughs> obligated to stay in L.A.? It'd be good for you to do some solo streams in a new city. The environment is toxic and it's making you sacrifice your community for the CX business. Um, I mean, I want the streamer house to, to work. I want the streamer house to be a very successful thing. So yes, I want to stay in LA. Um, I mean, we're going to travel obviously with, you know, the money that we have, but you know, that's got to be planned and you know, it's going to come. If you feel bad for Andy. Move his setup back to his room right now. Um. Give me one second. Where's uh, that walkie-talkie?
you seen it? No. What? That's the walkie-talkie. I had a walkie-talkie in this room. I don't know where the fuck it went, though. All right, I was going to, because I, I have the walkie-talkie that talks to the, to the, uh, one of the butlers downstairs, and I was going to ask him to do it, because I'm, you know, we're sitting here streaming right now, and yeah, he's like, well, he's, he, he, he can fucking do it, that's his job, but, huh? Want me to get him? No, it's fine, we'll just get it later. The truth is, you're all messed up, insecure individuals, and we are all watching you ruin your lives for entertainment. Live streaming is just digital lynching, Adrian. What do you think about that? Just digital lynching. Digital lynching. I mean, it does seem like a lot of people are watching out of bad motives sometimes to like, wanting you to, guys to fail. But um, ch everybody is. Chat, yes, we have the butler. Um, that's the point of having the butler. He can move the stuff into the room. I didn't take the shit out of the room. Um and I'm streaming right now. You want me to fucking leave my computer desk for 20 minutes and move his stuff up? Like, that's what the butler is for. And that is what he wants to do because he wants to win the competition on Saturday. Can I join the streamer house? I've never been to Cali and do you like the opportunity? I mean, you can come on Saturday. You can come on Saturday. You can uh, audition to be the butler. And uh, if you win, then you live in it. You live in the house. I SMT ID pretty amazing, though. The purple army can be ruthless, but when IT comes to someone actually feeling butthurt, CX becomes a white knight. Truly incredible. Uh, I mean, uh, just like any community, I suppose. Hey, Adrian. This will make for a good chapter in the book. What will you entitle it? The Downfall of Vice Poseidon? There are a lot of chapters I could probably title that, so... I'd say the Schumer House is only the beginning, as long as uh, we can get a lot of these issues out of the way. Keep in mind, Ice is the coolest CEO next to Elon Musk. My list goes Elon, Ice, <laughs> then Jeff Bezos. Ice running the coolest shit in the world. Ice a billionaire in five years. Uh, gee, I'm flattered by Ice that, JC Black Jingleberry. Thank you, house. homie. I'm fucking flattered. Thank you, Triggs, for the member. Appreciate that, homie. I am fucking flattered. Thank you. You know how I know you're all selfish. Comparing me with Elon Musk. Mention? You all think it's fine because it didn't happen to you. But if it did, you'd be having a fit. Like high phonics when chat turned on him yesterday. Here's the thing. People fuck with my shit all the time. Uh, and of course I'm mad by it. But, you know, I'm like, I don't know what you're trying to say. Like, yeah, I get mad by it, but it's happened to me before. It's not like it's never happened to me before. Of course people have fucked with me before. Very heavily. I've had a lot of stuff moved around, stolen, like whatever. Like it sucks, but uh, you know, I under that's why I understand how Andy feels. Obviously, it wasn't a joke. So you are saying SSJ putting all of his stuff in the garage and carrying twenty pounds worth of monitors downstairs was all some sort of Liddy prank, bro? Sick prank, bro? It was Liddy. I'm just telling you what SSJ's intention was, not what the outcome was. If you need someone to talk to Paul, hit me up. I get the same kind of hate for being your number three donator and a TDD pepper pal. Group hug in the chat. Shout out Jeremy Monk. Thank you, Cloud Ten. Yeah, I mean, I, I know you're always around. Managers to fight with streamers. How long have you been there in the house? Not trying to hate. But oh, not I, I know. Trust stream. me. SSJ. You sold your soul. You look unhappy. I. I look unhappy because I have to deal with shit like this that SSJ fucking blows up in my face. Um, yeah, I, d I agree with you. I, I think he shouldn't fucking argue with people, and I don't think he should fucking come on streams and call people out and do dumb shit. I agree, and I've taught, had long conversations with him about it. You got ripped into by everyone and then say it was a prank because you're a sensitive SJW. Hampton knocking you out was a prank, I guess. Um... Hampton could have knocked out a fucking paper box, to be honest. CX in the chat. Thank you, Bone Crusher. Appreciate the sponsor, dude. Thank you. CX in the chat. Thank you, Dr. B. Appreciate that, homie. So instead of streaming last night, you sat there and talked to your girlfriend. Um, well, there's other reasons, too. Um, but it wasn't that, obviously. Maybe I can ask you, why Why are you not streaming so often these days? 
because uh, I just don't feel great, dude. What do you mean? Like, I'm just, it's, it's, it's very hard to um, want to stream when I'm not having a good time. Like, when I go live and it's just AIDS, like, I just, it's hard for me to, to, to want to do that. Um, like I'm trying to find it in me, but it just, it sucks. Like right now have, having this conversation sucks. I hate this, but it's something that needs to be done. Obviously CX in the chat mm -hmm. and you know, it sucks because there's a lot of positive people that do watch my streams and I feel bad for them and I'm sorry. Uh, but you know, sometimes I just feel like just fucking horrible. But Turn off TDS and before. start the stream plaza. I'm not trying to watch you bait Dino's. Also, fuck ass can fire him. <laughs> okay, thank you, dude. What? But you you haven't been streaming a lot since you moved in, so it's not just the Andy mixing Andy. No, it's not that. It's it's just a lot of stuff. It's just like everything together, you know. It's a very stressful environment. Everything does fall back onto my shoulders. Like everything that happens in this house falls back on my shoulders, and it's. Very stressful. SSJ doesn't have authority to kick people out. BTW called cops on EBZ for coming back when you said he could beat TW. SSJ doesn't have authority to kick people out. BTW called cops on EBZ for coming back. I mean, all because he calls the cops on somebody doesn't mean that anything's going to actually happen. You said you wish Mexican Andy would have talked to you before he left. He didn't because SSJ told him that you and SSJ both decided that he was kicked out of the room. Why would he come to you? Um, because I, like I said, take everything with SSJ, take everything that SSJ says with a grain of salt um, and talk to me. That's what I'm expressing. Like SSJ may have said that, but that, like, talk to me first, like, you know, before you leave, just make sure the story lines up, you know what I'm saying? Instead of just leaving, like, that's all that I'm saying if anyone in the house ever feels uncomfortable even if my name gets fucking dropped just come to me anyways and talk so we can just see if shit you know makes sense you say you care but do you really where were you yesterday oh you were on your phone with your girlfriend not streaming like you'd promise no I mean I was doing some other stuff too I was talking with the spiritual guide about uh you know how I feel as well, but there's you know there's other stuff. If only you would have listened to Victor. What's a spiritual guide? I have this guy that comes over and he he just he helps me with like you know energies. <laughs> Is that true? What's so funny about that? Uh, I just didn't think you were into that kind of thing. I'm not really into that kind of thing, but it makes me feel a little better. Yeah. Like, you know, I, I dig it. Like, it's, you know, you know, energy vampires and fucking, you know, other shit. So, like, I, I, I understand what he says. And I, you know, I do uh, entertain the ideas because I like the theories that he says. What's his name? CX in the chat. Uh, Immortal War Angel. No. <laughs> Thank you, Moy. Appreciate it. I mean, no, it's, I don't know. Like, the, uh, he, listen, he's a little crazy, but I, I like his theories and they do, they do make sense. So, what's you know. he, what's he order weed, order weed, order Mexican. No weed. weed. Stop. What? What is he saying to you? Um, he says that there's a lot of energy vampires around that suck the energy out of me and they, uh, and that I need to just, you know, listen to, certain people around me and, you know, ignore others. Mm. You know, basically what Reddit says, just in a more spiritual way, I suppose. Thank you, Wild Wolf. Appreciate the sponsor, dude. You're kidding? No, I mean, I'm not kidding. Um, I like to entertain the ideas because I think his theories are interesting. Interesting. I'm not saying that I follow his theories. I'm just saying that they're interesting. Oh, yeah. And, uh... Because some of the stuff that he says, like, it's, it's like, okay, like, that could be true. But, like, I don't know. I like to entertain the ideas. Like what? Ray, your hair looks like a llama right now. Also, the only reason you are saying this or posted on Twitter is because you got called out. Also, nice baiting stream. Easy 5K today, right, Pa? Uh, I'm talking about this because I have to. What do you mean? 
if I just ignored this, that wouldn't be good. I mean, I would prefer to just ignore this, but I have we have to talk about it, right? On one of your last streams, you hinted at something being wrong and you would let us know. Uh, at that moment, I had, me and my girlfriend had been like, thank you, saying we're going to break up with each other. And then we, we decided to make a compromise instead. And we're good now. The past two months, you've been a boring desktop streamer crying about all your problems. Please just stream consistently and go live before two. We we have uh, we've done some other stuff. I mean, since since mid January, it has been a little iffy, but you know, it's been rough for me since mid January. So at least kick Brent out and make him live in a separate place. He's not living here permanently. That's already been decided, so you don't have to worry about that. Ice, your communication skills are very good on stream, and you're extremely level-headed with everything you're saying. At this point, you have set precedent. Yes, have the butler move and may stuff back. <laughs> I don't know if that's sarcasm. I mean, I'm trying. I mean, I, I'm trying to, you know, I know in the past when there's been a lot of drama and hate and stuff, I've always came off really bad as well. But I've, I, I hope that I am coming off a lot better than what I did when I, Per se, dated Caroline, but you know. It was fucked up what happened, and I think it could have been handled better. Pranks are supposed to be funny. That was just fucking retarded, but at least you admit the fault of SSJ. SSJ did not convey the joke very well, obviously. He came off way too serious, and it was just, it was just not a good look, and we all can agree on that. CX in the chat. Thank you, Triggs. Appreciate it, dude. <clears throat> SSJ has to wear a Superman shirt and pink tutu for a week after he gets back from Vegas. Problem solved. I mean, that's not. He's just going to go in the basement. I don't think that's going to solve anything. It would be funny, though. Your entire content is dehumanizing people. Do you not feel guilty? <sighs> no, I love it, actually. It's great. Um, <laughs> think about it like this. If. Well, that's not all my content, but if I do a torture stream or I do a prison stream or I do whatever kind of fucking bullshit 24-hour closet stream, um, if people agree to do it, that's a fun time for me. That makes good content, and uh, in the end, everyone who is involved gets something out of it. So, I mean, it's sort of just like a game show, right? Like Fear Factor was about embarrassing people, making them eat fucking cow liver and fucking cow balls and shit. Um, similar concept. But uh, mine's a little bit more intense. And as long as they agree to that, I don't think there's any harm. Ice the streamer house is great, but nobody is streaming. You can't stay in the house and expect the content to come to you. You still have to go out on the boulevard and find or make content yourself. I totally agree with that. Um, we have our first event on Saturday, and that's going to help hopefully get the ball rolling on a good, uh, you know, some good shit. But I agree with you. Obviously, you know, I have to go out and still do stuff. Um, I've just, you know, like I said, I have been, um, <clears throat> you know, not dealing with myself too greatly lately, so. You look stressed, I take the week off you deserve. Okay, it. no, no week, I've, it's no need for any of that. Thank you, dude. You're going to get fucking targeted on Reddit now. <laughs> Yo, Ice, how does it feel? Okay, the order weed, don't know your fit, okay, just stop. So enough is enough, dude. Stop. The only way for this to be made right is SSJ moving to the garage. He's moving to the basement in one of the smaller bedrooms, yes. He's taking Cassandra's room, that fucking little tiny shit fucking room. And Cassandra's going to take his room. Exploit the weakest of society. Um, I think a lot of people would love to be exploited on my streams because in the end, they typically make a few thousand dollars from it. And... Uh, I shit you not, when I did the prison stream, I made sure I asked random people before I did it, hey, would you do this for this amount of money? Then blank, but like I came up with, I, I thought the stream was going to make 10 grand and made 13. I said, would you do this for 10 grand? Because I didn't know if some of the stuff that I had was a little bit too intense. And people were all like, yeah, I would do that for 10 grand. I'd get fucking pepper sprayed and a fucking pillow on my face for three hours for 10 grand. So. Hey, homie. You planning to come to Australia soon, and is it still planned? We need you here, you mad cunt. One day, yes, I will be in Australia. You don't have to worry about that. I mean, Adrian, uh, when this 
plays a little bit. What is this fucking shit? <laughs> okay, great song. I love I've it, dude. Seen a pattern here: locking people in rooms, teasing them, laughing at people who are homeless, using them for content with no compensation, demeaning your so-called friends. You're a sadist. I mean, I am in the BDSM, uh, so yes, I am a sadist. I don't demean my friends, but yeah, you know, I might get some people locked in a closet and taser them. I don't really, like, if they agree to it, dude, that's like, fuck it, that's fun for me, and they get money out of it, so fuck it, dude. Um, what do you think about that? Do you think that is de dehumanizing? To? To the people that, that agree to do these competitions. Uh, I mean, I don't think it is because they agree to it. Actually, I know it is because I purposely do stuff that does dehumanize them. But yeah. it's uh, for the stream. It's like fucking but, entertainment. You know what I mean? But I think just because you agree with something doesn't mean it's not dehumanizing. You can have a job that's dehumanizing, but you agree to do it, it and is, you get paid. It is dehumanizing. But if they agree to it, who gives a shit? Uh, I mean, all I can really say is if you're offended by let's say the prison stream or the fucking closet streams that I've done, you probably should just stop being offended by those things because they've all agreed to it uh, and they all get a lot out of it. Um, and if you're offended by that, all I have to say is you're just being a little butt hurt. <laughs> like who gives a shit? You know what I mean? Like yeah. what the fuck? What? Um, you said something earlier about how everybody takes things so seriously like what what's up with that do you think people take things too seriously now on your stream yes of course i do people dude those closet streams bro when i did the first closet stream people love that shit um you know what i mean it's like i've been i did a fucking sleep stream i got paintballed and taser too i've done that shit to myself too and but there's always gonna be those you know small group of people that are like that was fucking shitty you're a fucking say it like who cares dude like fucking if you agree to something like who gives a shit mm -hmm. but you think do you think people are getting more serious now than before i mean maybe it doesn't really matter to me i guess yeah. i'm still gonna do the same old shit so yeah like if people want to call me a fucking dehumanizing sociopath because of it i mean fuck it dude i guess i mean as long as fucking <laughs> as long as it's a good stream i don't really give a shit how, how i mean how, uh, outside of just this specific Mexi and Andy incident, how do you think the house is going so far? Well, I think the house is going well. I think everyone in the house is getting, you know, a fair amount of viewers. Everyone's uh, doing a pretty good job. Everyone's pretty happy, um, minus some occasions like this. So I would say it's going well, minus a few here and there's. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, mind you, we haven't even done anything in the house right. yet. We've only just been existing in it. <laughs> So once we actually get stuff going, um, you know, it'll be going a lot better. Yeah. Not parenting, love you, dude, but the house not going well. Well, Andy, obviously SSJ has been putting a lot of pressure on me and a lot of people in the house um, because of the dumb shit that he does and he has been doing. Um, but we also haven't done, <laughs> like I said, anything. We've only been exi we've only just been existing in the house. So like we haven't even done any of the events or anything yet. Right. So. Well, it seems like you're. You're really gearing up. Um, I mean, you guys just moved in with no plan and no... No, oh, we have a plan. We don't even have the company credit cards yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, we get the company credit cards. We get the site released. The fucking site's oh, not yeah, even released. The site coming up. Um, I don't know. I think last week they said six weeks. So, I mean, I don't want to give a date because I don't know. But it's very soon. Um, you know what I mean? Like... The ball hasn't even started rolling yet. People want stuff to happen this, like this, and this, and this, but that's not how it works. It, uh, it takes time for shit to happen. Right. Who, um, who do you think is doing the best content so far? Hmm. Hmm. It's hard to say, dude, honestly. <laughs> I, I think Hyphonics is doing a great job. Uh -huh. I think uh, I personally like Cassandra streams. She's fucking funny. I don't know. She's like a troll. Like, it depends. Like, if she's going around fucking with people in the house, that's good. Voldesad's doing a really good job with his radio show. Um, I'm supposed to be on that soon. And then everyone else, you know, same old type of shit. So, actually, Voldes, he pulled 6K the other day. He did a really yeah. good job. Yeah, it was, yeah, that was fucking amazing. 
Doing yeah. what? Um, just the radio show. The radio show. But, um, I mean, what do you think about... How, how do you think the house is going, Adrian? I mean... With I, us just existing. I at, agree with Andy. It doesn't seem like it's going very well. Like In terms are, of... Well, you guys are all fighting. Um, I don't think the fact that you and SSJ have such intense tension now is very good. You haven't been streaming a lot. Um, you know, the Reddit is going crazy. Uh, I think... I, I And I think that's just, like, objectively, like, how good could it possibly be now when you just moved in, when you, you know, are still setting up? I don't know, but... Um, it doesn't seem like, you know, I think a lot of people were expecting this to really just level up things. And sure, like, and it will, yeah. but shit doesn't happen overnight. Right. And everybody has to understand the expectation for that. Yeah. It doesn't happen overnight. Shit takes fucking time. Um, yeah, but I'm not saying... People in the, I don't think people in the house are fighting, um, minus this whole incident, but... Okay. Um, Yeah. But, like, I don't know. I'll hold, withhold my judgment until Saturday's the first event, right? Saturday is the first event. So, um, I do. I saw a post on Reddit saying they don't, people don't want me to have everyone in the house go to Japan. They just want me to do it solo. Which, you know, I mean, I could do that, but I. I, I want to bring other people in the house on trips with me because that builds up the rest of the people in the house as well. If I'm gone for two weeks, you know, traveling, that how do we build the house up and people in the house as well? Um, you know, I, I want this to be like a team effort. Mm -hmm. And if I bring people, I can still do solo stuff when I travel, but, you know, they're there too. If, you know, so you have the option to watch someone else. When are you going to Japan? Um, I don't know. I mean... Once we get the company cards, which, um, you know, is going to come obviously quick, um, that's when we'll start planning for that. We have, like, we have stuff planned. We just don't have the credit cards yet. So we're like, mm -hmm. when we have to buy something for the house, <laughs> I'm spending my own money and then I'm going to get reimbursed. Right. So. So you're limited by funds right now. I mean, sort of, yeah. But, I mean, you know, like I said, if we're going to go to Japan, we need to buy tickets, to, you know, in advance, at least a month in advance, so it's cheaper. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. FYI chat there is a reason even his parents hate him. He is a terrible person. My parents don't hate me. Um, I never had a loving relationship with them, and uh, I think it's made me into, you know, a very strong-willed person, and I don't think that's a bad thing. I'm very in tune with myself, and I'm very... Um, you know what I mean? Like I don't use emotions to, you know, make decisions. I make decisions based on hopefully logic, um, more than anything else. So, but I also, you know, have fucking Asperger's and I think my parents do as well. So that just causes some sort of disconnect as well. But there's obviously love there. We just don't show it with each other. Away from hard drugs, each time you take something, you lose a big part of you and your personality. You will never be the same after each time to get back to normal, never 100. I mean, I haven't done hard drugs in, uh, well, I think the only hard drug I've done is Molly. And that was like two months ago was the last time I did it, so. Watch this boy. Watch this boy. Watch this boy. Watch this boy. All right. Um, Watch this boy. What is this? Watch this boy. Watch this okay, I've already seen this. This is some PewDiePie shit. Thank you, dude. I appreciate this it, but there's nothing in so it. This community is so retarded sometimes. They used to say the most offensive and cruelest shit about Mexican Andy. Anyone with half a brain knows Brian is playing a character. How can you get triggered? I think last week people called him Mexican acne. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to even go there, obviously. There's different people on Reddit, so there's different opinions. But people, you know, do say real, a lot of mean shit on Reddit about everyone. And then when something bad happens to that person, they'll defend them. Like, you know, but it's, there's different people on Reddit, so there's different opinions. So it's different. Hello, Pa. It's me, your buddy, Bald God X. Brother Banks is blessing me, and I can see he has started to bless your hairline. Hash blessed. Dude, I, do you think I'm going bald, Adrian? No, I don't think so. Okay. I think you're doing pretty good. I know. I don't think it's like, I don't think my hairline's bad at all. Like, I think I have a good hairline. What the fuck? I swear the fuck. Why is SSG still living? Has the manager not a fucking streamer? 
Kick him out. He's only making everything turn to shit. Fuck this guy. Honestly, I'd rather have DJ in the house. <laughs> oh, man. W-H-O. Don't worry. In charge. You, stupid. <laughs> Arrogant. Lying. Cuck. Stop. Pat- um, I mean, obviously I'm in charge here since everything's falling on my fucking shoulders. Um, I mean, that to answer your question. <laughs> Explain this. Um, I, I mean, it makes sense though. Let me see. Explain this. Let me see what this is. What is this? I talked to Ice, and, w- and what, what did he say? He said he could sleep for the rest of the week. Uber's just mad that he's not in the house, to be completely honest with you. And he's just obviously going to pander to the Reddit because that's all he does on his streams every fucking stream. Um, what, this goes back to what I said literally 30 minutes ago. Take whatever SSJ says with a grain of salt. Um, and Uber, you're a moron. <laughs> that's all I have to say about that, honestly. What a... Why are you going to Japan? CX in the chat. What's that? Why do you want to go to Japan? Because I've never been there, and it looks really, really fun. Yeah, I went. It's cool. Um, what's that? I went. It's cool. Yeah, no, I want to go to fucking Akihabara and Tokyo and, like, all these little cosplay you places. You need to talk to High Fonix. He's worried about everything going on in the house and just considering leaving. Yeah, obviously, I don't want people to feel like that, so... You know, I need to talk with everyone, and I want them to feel comfortable here. I don't want people to fucking leave because it's awkward and you know i mean if i mean i don't know i'm just i'm assuming that's what uh i mean why would that guy why would he say that if it wasn't true right but watch this boy watch this boy or i saw that one thank you dude the pewdiepie thank you very is it stressful just to live here like being around all these people when when there's uh you know hate yeah you know, it, it's a little stressful to not live here, but just to be around the people that are causing the hate to happen. You know what I mean? So if SSJ does something that gets everyone riled up, which he's done many times since we've moved into this house, it makes it awkward for everyone else living here because now we're all involved, you know? Right. You can't keep passing the buck to SSJ when you have to claim... you. When you claim you have talked to him about five or six times now, I, I mean, I know that. That's why I'm annoyed, Neb. I mean, that's why I'm obviously fucking annoyed um, by the whole situation, so. I just honestly go watch your old streams and look at the old you and the new you. Find out what happened, bro. I mean, I, I know what happened. There's nothing bad that's happened. I've just, uh, you know, grown up a little bit, and uh, the community is just in a different place now than it was two years ago. I mean, when I was playing RuneScape two years ago, I could say anything I want, and people would LOL in the fucking chat. <laughs> now, if I say something that has any slight amount of troll to it, it's, you know, everything is taken so seriously, so. Wow. Must be nice when you're stressed and not feeling it to just not show up for work. Wish most of us working people could do that. When I'm not streaming, I'm still working. Just throwing it out there. Can I message you, Tweet, or Jacoby about the arrangement? My B day is Saturday, and I may grow a Lauren. Just Neto. literally, just come to the house Saturday. Just, just come over. There's no arrangements needed. You, um... To the last person who donated door to weed. That's my flicking me. Okay. Oh goddamn! Slice but happy birthday, birthday dude. Play with me. Okay, the order weed. Thank you. What were you saying? Oh, when you said that you, you, you think you've grown up a little. What do you mean? Can you talk about that? Um. Two years ago, if there was an issue. I kind of just, like, uh, deflected everything. But nowadays, I try to take a little bit more responsibility. Um, That's what I mean by growing up. You know, if there was an issue. Like, I remember two and a half years ago, people, there was this huge drama when I played RuneScape. Everyone thought I bought gold. Which, by the way, I did buy gold, but (laughs) I I pretended I didn't. Um, And instead of taking it seriously which sort of got me a little bit of hate back then. Um, I just sort of blew it all off. I was like, fuck it. Like, I, 
fucking you know going to the duel arena just like you know i just deflected everything and it was but it was funny you know right. and people didn't really give a shit whether or not i bought gold and that was the difference yeah. people really just give a shit about drama nowadays um which makes sense because it's a different sorts of drama than buying runescape gold who gives a shit about that so like i can't just deflect and troll mm -hmm. you know like if i did that with this mexican anti drama that would not be great that would be bad dude because you would look terrible it would just be yeah it would just be a bad it would just be bad i just can't i can't do that do you um i mean like in addition to other you know you're you're dealing with more real situations now so you yeah. have to be kind of that's what i'm saying it's like more the situations nowadays are a little bit more serious than but, buying fucking gold you know but do you personally feel like you want to be more responsible like did something in you change? Because it's two and a half years ago is sort of a long time. And mm -hmm. I could imagine. What do you mean? Did something in me change with what? Because well, you said that you grew up some. Yeah, I mean, I I want to have a lot of responsibility. Yeah. Like, you know, I want to grow something. Um, and, you know, that has positives and negatives. The negatives is, you know, I get really stressed out about a lot of shit. But the positives are, if it works out, then it's going to be really great. Mm -hmm. So. Well, you also, now that you're in a sort of leadership role as the ceo <laughs> um, <laughs> why is that funny dude that why what's the, uh, dude i what's wrong <laughs> yeah i'm a ceo, CEO what about it adrian why, why is that funny to you <laughs> what am i a bad one um i mean you're not the first person that comes to mind as as a ceo you know but um what does that mean well you are the most irresponsible person I probably have encountered in a long time. Uh, <laughs> but that's, Dude, that's when it's thing. three o'clock in the morning, I tell people to turn down the music <laughs> from five decibels to two. Yeah. That's pretty responsible. I mean, you're growing. You're definitely growing up. I mean, when Blade wanted to go drive his car when he was fucking drunk, I said, as long as you keep it within the property, it's fine. <laughs> How is that irresponsible? No, you're right. Okay. I'll, can I invest? Actually, you want? Uh, I need a, I need a good investment. Yeah, give me all your money, dude. That's fine. Fuck it, dude. It's not a waiver, so yeah. everything's all good. CX in the chat. Thank you, Pro Nation. Appreciate it. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, realistically, how am I irresponsible? I mean, I'm not that responsible, but that the fuck it, dude. Yeah. Like honestly, like you don't need to be that responsible as long as shit works. Well, just like planning, you know. I don't think. Medafinil made planning. you this way. Google decide negative side effects of modafinil dependency. You have all the classic symptoms. Actually, today was the first day I took the modafinil in a week. I really don't take it as much as you think I do. Hey, Paul, when I started watching you a while back, the streams were entertaining, and when I seen the preview to the streamer mansion, I had high hopes of content. Come on, dude, make some fucking content. First events on Saturday. I mean, uh, yeah, this all the all this drama is make, it makes it really uh, annoying and difficult for me to. You know, provide good content, and I'm sorry for that. I just, we need to get past the drama shit. Like, the drama shit's old and washed out at this point. You wanted to get rid of all the negativity around you. But SSJ has been creating a fair bit of it for you, hasn't he? Yeah. What do you think about that, be honest? I think it's awful, and also, I'm very bothered by it, as you, as we've been talking about. You're saying you're feeling too bad to stream because of the viewer's attitude. But their attitude won't change until you start putting in work oh, and yeah. making the change. It's a two-way road. It's, it's sort of like a relationship. Um, if you're arguing with your girlfriend constantly, you, you need to do, like, you need to take the step to be the bigger man and stop arguing with your girlfriend for a relationship to get better. Same thing sort of applies. Like, obviously I need to get in a better attitude, uh, in order for viewers to get in a better attitude, but <laughs> sometimes you get lost in that hole. It's like a cycle. You get lost in that cycle and until you, you break that cycle, it, it can be rough. Hampton knocked you out, bro. Hard. You got effed up in that scar on your eye looks tasty, homie. You're a bisexual drug addict, BTW Paul, stop hiding it. Uh, no, I, that was makeup actually to make him look better. Uh, I wasn't actually hurt by the situation at all. This is makeup that I put on every single day. I used to like the pickup jacuzzi, Zorb ball and general interaction with people or all. What happened? Yeah, I mean, we, we gotta do some stuff like that again. I just have been, you know, like I said, just feeling shitty, so. But I, ISIS messed up her getting mass heat for something someone else did. 
I wish you would have stayed solo and kept doing her own thing. No streamer house, man. This has all been bad for her career, and it's sad. You know, it's only been a week that we've been in the house, so um, I don't think you should judge something with my entire career that you know based on something that's only been around for a week. I've been streaming for three years. One week is one percent of three years. You've been, here for, you've been here for three weeks now. In this house? Yeah. No, it hasn't. About a week. What? Since you've been here? In this house, right? About a week. <laughs> that you've been in? I don't know. Is it, it's, it's not been three in weeks. February 1st. It's February 20th now. <laughs> dude, I, I don't even, flies, I don't even look, I don't even look at the date what, anymore, dude. What do you do for fun? I don't look at nothing. I don't do look you, at. Do you do anything for I don't look at the date. I've lost track of time. Dude. <laughs> I'm a fourth dimensional being. I can go from time to time. Uh, what? Do you do anything for fun? No, I am always doing stuff for my for for stream, for stream. like something stream related Does for you sure. Think that, that would help a little, like separating your work from your life, like a little. What's that? Do you think it would help a little to like separate your work from your life? A little bit, but that's hard to do. Let me see. Ice wake up. This is happening for six months. You lost most of your memories, but SSJ <laughs> has been controlling your life. <laughs> oh, geez, dude. Now, I, you know, I watched this movie last night. Uh, have you ever seen the movie Click? No. All right. Well, with Adam Sandler, it's the, the movie Click. And there was a huge moral of that story. That's my favorite movie of all time. And I watched it again yesterday because the lesson that that movie teaches you has a very strong. Uh, you know, message. And basically the message is to enjoy the moment in your life because you can, he has a universal remote. He just fast forwards and he does it too much and it fucks his life up and he dies. Uh, um, sometimes I feel like that because I have very like disconnected feelings of emotions with people. So that's why that was always been my favorite movie ever since it came out because my experiences, how do I explain this? When I have experiences, they're not very la they're not very long lasting. Like I don't have I don't really do a great job at creating emotional memories in my head. So time flies and I feel like I lose it sometimes because I can't connect emotions with like I just don't connect with emotions and you know without having an, a large emotional response when I have an experience, it can't go into like my long-term memory. So I feel like I lose track of time sometimes. Mm -hmm. So I, I watched that movie yesterday and just it, it made me just it made me cry a little bit. Really? <laughs> yeah. That, SSJ that, doesn't have authority to kick people uh, out. BTW called cops on EBZ for coming back when right. he said he you could. Think, you think some of that? Just he was just mad at EBZ. What? Do you think some of that has to do with like what you do for work because you're always distracted. You're always, you know. I mean, it's always been like that, but obviously streaming makes you. Uh, yeah lose track of time a lot even fucking more yeah it's not even a sad movie dude it's click was a sad movie what do you mean it's a drama filled fucking comedy maybe you should try uh, meditating i do you do a little bit really yeah what do you do um i'll sit in my bed and i'll lay down and i'll not move my body i breathe a little bit and uh, like i breathe in specific ways and then i just think for like an hour about stuff uh, not like personally, but, you know, just like job related shit or, you know, stuff, you know, about how I feel and other people. And, you know, I do meditate every once in a while, like once a week or something, maybe. So um, there's supposed to be a protest here tomorrow, by the way. What do you mean? There's supposed to be people that are going to come with like picket signs outside and stand outside the house and like protest SSJ. <laughs> so I mean, you know, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, he's not even here, so I. So now that's something I have to deal with. <laughs> Who's organizing the protest? I don't know. Reddit? I don't fucking know, dude. I want to. If if the pro if the protest organizers out there hit me up, I want to. Yeah, come back. Let's come tomorrow. Interview them. Okay. Fuck it, dude. I mean, I'm gonna have to go out there and address it as well. I'm gonna get a little podium and like I'll address it and with like a big microphone and you know. Turn it into a real thing. Yeah. You're not supposed to think about stuff to meditate. You're supposed to let your mind go blank to meditate. Well, I mean, I just concentrate, I guess. I I've, I go into a concentration mode then. I know you have said about the 24/7 camera stream around the house, but if that was permanent, it'd be yeah. Like we are brother. going to do that. I'm telling you, we are going to do that. The Butler stream on Saturday needs to happen though, because we need a fucking 
We need a butler. Like, right now, we have one that's just here right now, but he's... He still needs – I want him to audition. He's not hired yet. I just – you know, he needs to audition. We want to get the butler first. The butler is going to basically be a 24-hour camera on his shoulder all the time. Uh, so we need to – that, that's the first step. this problem. Now we have the butler move Mexican and he's set it back to his room ASAP. I think you set SSG straight at this point. And you're taking this shit on well. Good man. Adrian, you seem like a I'm kind trying. of intelligent person. Will you consider managing Ice instead of the slime ball parasite no, he's managing no. him now? I'm not a manager. What do you think? Would I be a good manager? Adrian, I think you would do a great job at managing everybody. <laughs> I think you're level-headed and you have the, the mind of, of somebody who can just... Well, I mean, you're on my stream right now. Nobody ever hates you, so you already uh, can talk and uh, communicate with no issues. So it's a good step. I think you should do a closet stream with. No, me. never. I never want to hear her fucking name again. She literally came into the house a few days ago for Sophia's birthday party. I kicked her out. She recorded me. I told her fuck off. I hate that woman. This is your best song. Have you even heard it? Uh, let me see what it is. Thank you. Let me see what this is. LML exposed. Cassandra is taking SSJ's room now, huh? So she did try and run Max Andy out of his room, but he failed. So no, you're giving your SSJ's room. Ha 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 ha. Uh, no, she just obviously, uh, <laughs> no. SSJ doesn't, like, I don't want him in the fucking top floor and to be on camera anymore. So he needs to go in the basement. And he says he wants to go in the basement, so. Okay. Okay. Good. You didn't. Never mind. Nothing. It's just some stupid she song. 24 hours stream playing games, donations for charity. What have you got to lose? Also, shout me out. Help me get to 100k. I mean, I, don't, I mean, nothing to lose. We could do that. I mean, for sure. SSG equals jack off and always has. You get the respect you give. There's a difference in fucking with someone and just being an asshole. If he does business anything like the axe, you're fucked. Truth. That's true. Is there a reason why you don't have SJC or Boober in the house? They both get over 1k viewers. Abandoning more friends, maybe? Um, Uber does not get over 1k views. And I don't really think he has too much to offer for the house. I like Uber. I think he's a great guy. But I don't think he has much to offer for the house. Um, other than being the token black guy. Like, he doesn't do anything that makes him stand out from the rest. Um... I mean, he has the face tattoos, but that's it. <laughs> like, he, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. SAC is a funny dude. Um, you know, and only time will tell, so we'll just go from there. Don't play dumb ice. Cassandra said she won in the room. You are a cook and kicked out MA because of her. Listen, if I really was going to do that, I would have Cassandra blow me first before she takes that fucking Stop room. Stop the excuses and just admit defeat. You hired SSJ. You invited him to live with you. You let him spend your money. You let him choose your friends. You let him take control. No, that's not true at all. Um, SSJ told me to ban Brandon Hampton fucking a year and a half ago, and I didn't. Um, he has zero control over me. Um, he recommends stuff, but that's about it. I can give you the answers you're looking for. I will teach you what awareness means. You think your level of self-awareness is way, way higher than it really is. At Waffstaff is on Twitter. Uh, You're I sucking mean, me dry. I don't, I, I mean, I think I have pretty good self-awareness. I mean, I don't know. Do you think I'm a pretty self-aware person? Or do you think I'm lacking? Like, I think I, I think when I talk, I think I always know how I'm coming off. I think. So, well, sometimes I don't understand people's emotions and how they feel. Right. But other than that, I think I can come off very well sometimes. Um, I think. I think there are different kinds of self-awareness. You know, like, I think in one sense, you are extremely unself-aware in that you can't see why other people would get mad this about something. This is the Yes Mansion. What's that? No, I'm just going to continue. Oh, oh yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm sorry. Uh, don't, don't kick me out, boss. Um, no, but, yeah, like, there are... Things that you do and situations that you're in where I feel like you 
are unable to see why somebody might reasonably feel I, I, hurt or offended. And I, I, I agree, yes. That, um, that I, lacks self-awareness, I think. I have an issue with putting myself in other people's shoes. And I have an issue with understanding their emotions. But I, you know, I'm trying to work on that. I can't help it. Um, but I think you are very self. You're. I'm, I have fucking it. Aspergers, um, apparently. So, uh, you know, it's just an issue that I fucking have, and you know. But other than that, I think when I, I think when I, you know, when I'm at least on stream, I think I can, just, come off a little better than at least SSJ. <laughs> what does self awareness mean to you, though? Uh, just. If I was you, yeah. I'm looking at myself in third person for the conversation, like during this yeah. conversation. Yeah. That's what I think. Yeah. Like I, when I'm, I always try to look at myself in a third person perspective because I have problems doing that. So I always just try to force myself to do that. Right. You try to see what, how other people see you basically. Yeah. I mean, I, I try not to just talk out of my own head. I try to talk from other people's heads, if that makes any sense. Because mm -hmm. I, I have issues with that, so. You could be in a trailer park, doing what the audience wants, making a killing, and instead you've opted to give percent of your company to people like SSJ for a streamer house. You're a dumbest. We could do a lot more in a streamer house than we could in a trailer park. The trailer park would run dry after about a week. Um, and it's more than just a streamer house. We have funding to travel as well and throw, you know, large events. So it's more than just a streamer house. Watch this boy. Watch this boy. Okay, I, we saw that, dude. Stop. It's fucking PewDiePie. Who cares about PewDiePie's fucking memes, dude? Andy Milanakis said he won't hang because ICE is with idiots. Andy, are you... Is that true, Andy? Are you saying that I am hanging around a bunch of idiots? I think you are too... Make some, it up to Mex Andy and let him stay for the year timeline on jobs moving out. Spent a couple of days in the Sambulance content. Can I get a Masha in the chat? Okay, thank you, dude. Um, Mexican okay. Andy deserves respect. Be a friend to him, Paul, and stop letting SSJ bully Mexican Andy and rest of streamers. This is what I want everyone in the house to do. If somebody offends you, you need to fucking just laugh it off. Just laugh at them. Be like, oh, okay, dude. Ha, ha, ha. And then come talk to me. If somebody is truly offending you in the house, that's, that's what needs to happen. Like... If somebody offends me in the house, I'm just going to laugh at them because, and then, you know, figure it out later. You know what I mean? So that's all I have to say. If somebody is, if somebody's bullying another person in the house, just come talk to me and we'll go from there. Of course you like Cassandra after all you are fucking yet. We all say you and Blade stream in the theater scumbag. Thumbs down in the chat, boys. Um... What do you mean? What, what was going on in the theater? We were just watching a movie. What are you talking about? Everything we're saying are straight up excuses, credit cards, investors, etc. Who cares? You didn't have any of that when we loved you. Or drinking a monster at 6 p.m. to just sit at a desk. Get real, bro. Yeah, I mean it's I mean it's it raining, but Andy, renew his passport and fly that baby pig to Japan with you. I mean he's living in this house for free. Um, I did say that everyone in the house will come to Japan with me, but. There was a post on Reddit with almost a thousand upvotes that said, do it alone, do a solo stream. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm probably just going to take everyone in the house with me and then I'll just branch off and do my own fucking solo shit. And then you have the options to watch other people in Japan from the house if need be. SSG equals jack off and always has. You get the respect you give. There's a difference in fucking with someone and just being an asshole. If he does business anything like the axe, you're fucked. True. Okay, why is that repeating? CX in the chat. What, um, so what else do you have planned coming up? What, what are you going to do? <clears throat> um, I mean, we have, okay, so we have the butler thing. Once we do the butler thing, we'll do the, the big brother thing. Once we do the big brother thing, we, uh, hopefully by that time, we'll have the RV, the military truck. Hopefully with the military truck, we can travel with that. We can do events with that. And then, you know, I want to do a stream where we go to Japan. I don't know when all that will be, but this is like shit that we have planned in the, like, you know, not really in the works, just in our minds. But what about like the day to day, you know, just like a normal stream? Because I feel like that's the most important. Yeah, and that seems to have been the, be the biggest issue, is just 
keeping up consistent like well i mean i'm a little i'm in a little bit of a creative rut yeah um and my mind is distracted by a million different things so it's hard to get out of a creative rut mm -hmm. Um, the, how I've always fixed my creative ruts in the past was I just literally just like, I just go out, I just go out, I just stream and like shit happens, you know, like I just, I just look for shit and I just, I, shit happens. Uh, and then I go from there and then it builds off into another stream for another day and then so on and so forth. Sort of like the guys that we did the rap music with, we made the rap song with, with Gary. It, you know, we met them, then it branched off to a stream for the next day. And then that stream would typically go on to the next day and then yeah. it goes from there. But you know, obviously, I haven't really gone out and done anything, so... Yeah, why uh, is that? I don't know. Just a lot of my own issues. I mean, it also has been... The weather has been dog shit as well. Yeah, that's true. It's been raining a lot. How do you think you can motivate yourself to go live earlier? Um, yeah, I don't know, Mike, to be honest. I, uh, I mean, I, it's not that I... I don't know what it is. I just... I don't know. I mean, we. I mean, we went live today at like 5:30, which is pretty fucking late, uh, to be honest. But yeah, I don't know. I need to. I need to. Uh, trust me, I see the problems. I just. I think. Uh, need to fix it. Why don't we go do something like next week or something? Yeah, I'll I'm down. Take you somewhere. I'm down for that one. All right. I'll try to think of something. Just watch Mexican Andy save a cat. He's changed. What do you mean? You wouldn't get half this AIDS if you just went live. Yeah, I know, Neb. Um, I'm just, you know, I have my own insecurities and worries about, you know, the, if, I, if there's no content and shit. Not that this is any better at the moment, but hey, you know, fuck. I'm also, I'm going to be real with you. I'm scared. I'm scared to go out uh, and do IRL. I'm scared of getting swatted. I'm scared of fucking callers. I'm scared of, you know, this is like, this is the reason why I bought this thing. There's a reason why I have this. Cause like, I'm scared, dude. Like, I don't want to like feel like my life is at risk whenever I fucking stream, dude. So I, I'm not scared of like Brandon or some dumb fucking shit. I'd fucking shoot his ass with this fucking taser. Um, I'm scared of like other shit, dude. Like, you know, have the thing that happened in Alaska with that AR 15 really, it really just, it, it scared me, dude. It really, it fucked me a little bit. Everyone be sure to unsub. Thank you very much. Um, like, it just... Yeah, you need to find something that you can do that... Like, when I was streaming a year ago, and I did IRL, bro, I wasn't scared because nothing ever happened to me. Right. Like, nothing bad had ever, had ever happened. The worst thing was my camera got smashed at the fucking chicken and watermelon. But nowadays, it's like I've been swatted fucking 50 billion times. I've been, have had guns pointed at me 50,000 times. Um, you know, people some, they try to press me for clout and content. Like, I don't, like, it's not fun, dude. Like, I just, it makes me nervous. And I can't be myself when I'm out there because I'm on edge. I'm constantly just fucking on edge, dude. Right. And it's not, it's not good. And then, you know, the guy in the chest is by a gun. But if I bought a gun, I'd just get swatted and then actually die from the police. So I need to get over that somehow. I mean, maybe, you know, somebody said it before, hire security guards or hire a security <laughs> guard. And then a security guard could, like, be, like, 20 feet away from me just, like, trailing me. But, I mean, they're expensive. <laughs> but that would make me feel a little bit better. Like, more, more safe, I guess. Here's today's content since you never have plans. Get your levu, gather everyone in the house, and have them all express concerns. Duh. This is basically turning we could. on as a big brother. Get Kim set up 24-7. Get SJC a room too. Rip. Thanks, dude. What What can you do IRL that's not... When are you going to show your Canadian fans some love and come to Toronto? You don't realize how many fans you have out here. During the summer, I do want to go to Vancouver when it's not freezing cold. Um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll get everyone together. We'll, we'll do an express your concerns thing. That's a good idea. Um... I don't know what I could do that wouldn't. Uh, I'll do that in a little in a sec. Hold on. Um, I don't know what I could do that would be like safe. <laughs> to be honest, like it's not even safe in the in in the house. Like right. sometimes, you know. Right. So uh, it's it's hard, bro. Like before we got this address blacklisted. Like right now, the like the, we won't have to worry about the police. But when we first moved in, got swatted like four times. Really. Until the police were like okay clearly this is all fake let's blacklist your shit um so yeah i don't 
which means I can finally uh, rob a bank now. But <laughs> yeah. no, I was kidding. But you, you know what I mean? It's like, I don't know, bro. I just need to get over my own fears. I don't know how to do that. Yeah. I don't know how to do that. Therapy. Streaming a house meeting once a week. I mean, we could. Therapy. What the fuck's therapy going to do? I'm still going to be scared to go out and fucking do shit. But there's, there's, it seems like you're like traumatized, basically. Bro, I am. Like there's, th- that's, there's therapy for that that will help you. get. Yeah, over but then, over well, you know what the therapist is going to say? If don't fucking stream, don't do the thing that put you in that position in the first place. I go to therapy and if this is your life and this is what you're trying to do, they won't tell you not to do it. They, there are therapists. A lot of them will help you, you know, cope and sort of, I mean, the, honestly, the best thing to do is to just bring people with me when I go out. But you know, um, yeah, I mean, that's, 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 that's all. If y'all want the truth, that's the truth. Fucking, I'm, I'm just a scared motherfucker, okay? Yo, welcome to you unblock me on chat. I just became a member. I've been watching for over a year and love your content. Yeah, well, well, let me see if you're blocked. Let me see. Like, I'm sure you guys, every time I, I'm sure you guys have seen it. Whenever I go out, like, I just feel like I just, I'm, I'm like on edge, you know? I'm just like, fuck. Yeah. Uh, I mentioned this off stream, but we should go for a hike, and I feel like there's. This question is for Adrian. How awesome. did you end up working I'm for down. a New Yorker? What you're doing with X at the moment is exactly what I would like to do. How did I end up working for the New Yorker? It's a long story. Mexican um, Andy said the other day he can't drive. Maybe you can teach him out to drive on the stream. Use the cord better. Yeah, I've actually offered that to him before, and I was like, hey, whenever you want to learn to drive, just let me know. It's a long story, but I mean, I, give him his 30 day notice. I've been doing journalism for like 10 years. I'd started writing for my school newspaper. I had a blog. I made videos. I just basically worked my way up into, um, doing a bunch of articles and, and, uh, I don't know. It was a lot of hard work, but hit me up on Twitter and I'll tell you more. All right. Um, cool. When are you going to show your Canadian fans? Yes, why is this fucking t- t- repeating itself? All right, let me grab the live view and let's go do that thing with everyone in the house. Let's have a house meeting and then let's 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 do that are thing. Are you going to go outside and provide content or going to keep doing this trash no content PC stream? Well, I mean, I think it's raining today. Um, so for at the moment, yes. Thank you very much. Sides so going IRL for streams, which you should work on. If you do content in the house, start putting yourself into the context of having a room full of Andes to mess with. People want you. I mean, I agree with that, Kyle. You made content just meeting up PPL before they moved in. I mean, you know, cooking streams and other, you know, little stuff that we can do, obviously. Um, I just need to put my mind into it. Get my head in the game, right? How do you associate with such horrible scumbag with SSJ? Do you watch the clip? I I was annoyed at that. Yeah, we talked about it. Ooh. Is Sam Pepperib's DJ and other old streamers coming back? Uh, not in the near future, no. So you went from I like watching you over to he's an idiot? Cause he's speaking the truth and exposing your fat news autistic ass? Low damn, you fell off. Bring the down votes. Tell it all. Um. Why are more CX members in the house? Even if they don't have a room, having a bunch of blow up mattresses and more streamers so there could be streamers. Yeah, but we still want it to be comfortable. To, we want the house to be comfortable to live in. We don't want a bunch of people sleeping on the floor like a homeless shelter. Um. No, Uber is a cool dude, but I mean, I can see when he's pandering to fucking Reddit. Um. Like everyone can see through it. Like you don't it doesn't take it's not rocket science. <laughs> like his what he said just wasn't his real actual opinion. He's just pandering. So that's why I said that. Honestly, Ice, what happened? So many trigger desk JWs. Used to be trolls. We use wear of toxicity like a badge of honor. People are super triggered over the smallest things. That's I'm whatever. To crying. Welcome to 2019, I, I guess, right? Content. Plaza go out, do something. Boring as it gets. I agree with you on that, dude. Thank you very much. I'm turning this on. We're gonna we'll have a house meeting about uh, how everyone's you feeling. Spend a couple days in this ambulance. God, please, no. I mean, he's doing a good job. I don't I don't wanna live in a fucking van, dude. I was I did the R V trip from Chicago to Florida and I Why wanted to you die, homie. Gonna break up his cause of Reddit. Uh we got over that, dude. It's fine now. Don't worry about it, homie. 
Yo, it's Javier, the only Colombian you know. We went to the club together. I'm rejoining the script again. It'll be over Saturday. Join random meetings again and troll. Home Depot picking up Mexican. Did you see Florence the people promise not to get triggered by that? His back while kicking him from his amazing room to the damn garage. And do you associate yourself with a scumbag human like that? You are total trash. I do not condone the actions that SSJ does. That's all I can really say, dude. I saw that, and yeah, that was that was shitty. I know. You are taking your emotions too seriously to stream every day and get into the routine and build that habit and build discipline. It's that simple. You streaming fixes all the problems. Kick SSJ too. I haven't taken Manafinil in like a week. Today was the first day. You hardly streamed last week either. You're dependent on drugs to function. When I'm not streaming, I'm still working. When are you going to show your Canadian fans some love and come to Toronto? You don't realize how I mean, many fans you have out here. I'm essentially, uh, I'm essentially running a business uh, with the whole like investors and uh, the other platform and everything. Like I'm still working when I'm not streaming. I'm, so it's, 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 there's a lot on my table right now. Show Jacob Moore. What is he eating? He is looking hotter and hotter. Uber compares himself to Restaurant Cassandra. food, like every day that we do. Can you say more about Cassandra than Uber? Can you say... Uber not content. <laughs> okay. So now is Voldy desktop content. Hess streams every day. And he has numbers now and guests on his show. He fills a day with stream and Reddit recap. While you all sleep. CEO Um, Voldasad is a lot better content than Uber. That's just that like a hundred percent. Like, like, listen, I like Uber, but Voldasad does a really good job on his on his stream, dude. Okay, this is ready. So let me switch it over. I don't like seeing all this negativity and drama anymore. What do you want, Paul? Also, how does me as a viewer help and support you through this transition? Also, you may benefit by living in the now. Do you have any content planned for today or is this all you do? What about tomorrow? Is tomorrow's stream you apologizing for Brent drinking milk straight from the carton? Please give us content. I know, trust me. I <laughs> Take responsibility, Ice. I agree, I Your hate... The community isn't happy with you for real I, reasons. I hate doing you the drama shit, trust me. Constantly lie to us. Make excuses, deflect personal criticism, and never change your actions. 10K Andy. Thank you, dude. <clears throat> Alrighty. Let me get this. I have to plug Call all that He's crying. Adrian, can you uh, try to get everyone together in the living room? Just yeah. where, I don't know where everyone is, but I think Cassandra's not even home, but that's fine. Did you talk about the DR Kitty live stream fails post? What do you think about mods deleting negative comments? Posts? I didn't see it. Let me see. What is it? Deleting anything negative about DR or CX. Courtney what happened? Smoke confirms she's moving into the streamer house, and Jenna <laughs> from Twitch has been yapping about how okay. you and Charlie are constantly doing coke, and that's why she stopped hanging out with you. That's not true, but thank you very much. None of that's true, though. Um, I did not see a live stream fails post about Kiara Kitty. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Somebody have to, you have to link me that one. The problem is you kicked Sam. Ever since you kicked Sam, the network has become more to we door to we door to we door to we door. Okay, thank you, dude, very much, dude. Can I know I'm, I'm gonna stream? I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to scan the donos now because it's there's too many. Um I'm sorry. So this is turning on. When this turns on, we're gonna go down and fucking uh, get away from the desk here, okay? Are we getting any content tonight or is this it? Your promises don't even last twenty-four hours now. All this talk is pointless when your word means nothing. I could be doing Thank you, dude. It's uh they tell you who to bang. Hey. They tell you who to date. I'm live. That's a good start. They tell you what to stream. They tell you where to live. Chat and Reddit are the controlling ones. They need lives. Hey, I s check this out. What is it? Courtney Smoke confirms she's moving into the stream. <laughs> What the fuck is this? <laughs> what 
<laughs> what the fuck is that, dude? <clears throat> that was funny, dude. All right, let's go. Um. <clears throat> All right, this is on, so I'm going to switch over to live view, so give me a sec here, guys. I'll excuse you, don't go outside because Brandon PTSDTTD, the last day stream was in 2017. <laughs> yes, thank you. All right. I'll free the plebs. He tells people to turn streams off. People being entertained and he is responsible for that and make a rule that no one has to turn off stream. I know. I already talked about all that off stream. Uh, I will free the plebs. Hold on. Let me uh, just. Uh, I wanted to see what the sponsors had to say though, because they're what they say has a lot more value than uh, than plebs. <clears throat> Mainly because I know they're real people, and you know plebs in the chat are. Typically just trolls, so their values don't really, or their 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 words don't hold too much weight. All right, yo, Blade. Yeah. Um, uh, just uh, you guys want to meet me downstairs in the living room? Yeah, it just says there's like a house meeting or something. Yeah. Huh. Ice, keep your damn head up. You're starting to sound like a beach right now. <laughs> Thank you, dude. <clears throat> All righty. So we just installed new routers and a new like internet system. So hopefully it doesn't have any issues here and lag. Because it will be too dangerous. The new world order. I think there should be a Get world the order. To examine Mexican Andy and Blade's leg. Easy stream you can do. Mexican Andy's leg. I was gonna do the Blade Doctor thing today, but I got caught up with this whole fucking bullshit drama. So, um. I just have to do that still. Um, yeah, no, fucking, I don't know. Everyone's here. Let me just put this downstairs. Yeah, we got a new internet system, so hopefully it shouldn't lag. Scuffed, Wi-Fi. Gaming on Sundays as a chill day. Easy, no problem. Stream also shrill for Scuffed House 2019. Well, I've been working on my ultimate Iron Man. Hey. Having a house uh, yeah, 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 come here. Um, guys, if you play RuneScape, Bag of Ice K. Okay, that's my name. Fucking join the CC. I'm an ultimate Iron Man, and I am, I've been playing this motherfucker nonstop because I'm trying to get my ultimate Iron Man on a good level here. My current goal right now is 50 construction, and I'm picking up planks from Entrana and making fucking wooden chairs, dude, or crude chairs. I don't know what the better way to train construction is as an ultimate Iron Man. What? No. Why do you say? Why do you think I'm high? Cassandra, how was your stream today? Uh, it was okay. I got surrounded by like three security guards. Why? Because of callers. Because of callers. Okay, that sucks. Uh, all right. Um, I have this ready. Actually, what the fuck? Yo, Wesley. Wesley's our uh, IT guy, who's uh, living on uh, in, in in one of the pods. Yeah, you set up the router. I don't know the fucking password, though. No, all the routers? Yeah. He changed, they, we, they changed the Wi-Fi. Hold on. Give it a sec. I don't know what the fucking password oh, is. Your, um, Real. What? The, door the password is that? Yeah. What? How do you know? The only thing that stands between him and the annihilation of the entire human race would be us. Frog Brothers. We haven't been the Frog Brothers for a long time. What the fuck is I can't this? do it without you. You just fuck? need to hire a bodyguard. Hire one only when you are all stream though, so it's cheaper, but try to enable TDS so you can make the money back. You'd have a bodyguard at least regarding the TDS. Yeah, hey, fuck it, dude. Will you ever do gaming streams once a week like you did a while back? I want to play RuneScape. Those were fun. I do want to do my Ultimate Iron Man when I get higher level on it. Like when I do Slayer or something. I know, fuck a Slayer on Lincoln Park Stop sucks, but... Stop the chat. We want general. Oh, gosh. Okay, EBZ, yes. What the fuck's the password? It didn't work. Wesley! Can you grab him, please? I don't know the fucking hey, new Wi-Fi password is. Hey, I'll check my YouTube account 2WTF. I have been blocked or something in the chat. All right, I'll check it right now, dude. Let me see. What did you do to my grimoire? 
You better have I don't know. I don't know where she is. She says she's at some dude's house. I'm like, why don't you stream or come over or something? And she hasn't responded to that. I don't know. Is he coming? Yeah. All right, cool. What else, what else happened today, Cassandra? People are on edge and Terry's a lot of anger. I idolize Poseidon's style as a reason for dumb people to dump shit to you and you've got some toxic fucks who want to see it. Fucked place to be. <sighs> Appreciation to TSA for doing some IRL and not just pointing his camera at people around the house. Okay, Wesley's coming to give me the fucking Wi-Fi password and then we can uh, switch over to the live view. I don't know where the fuck. The, <laughs> I don't know what the password is. He said the password, but it didn't work. Um, so I don't know. Let me go. Glad to see you spoke with Tony. See you on Labor Day. Of course. You told Greek on Discord on Monday that you did four emote of fanal. Today you tell us you haven't done emote of fanal in five days. Your lying habits are beyond belief. Why are we members? What do we get from it? One joke has caused so much damage. I'll just plug in with an Ethernet cable. He's in the fucking he's in the fucking shower. So I'm just gonna plug the Ethernet cable from my computer into here. So I have to turn this off to switch over with the Ethernet cable. So I'll see you guys in like two minutes. All right.